What's up, you guys? Welcome to this week's episode of the Just Saying Podcast. I'm your host, Justin Martindale, and we have a wonderful reoccurring visitor this week. Oh my gosh, one of my favorites, one of your favorites. He's back and he's ready to talk and gab away. It's John Hill, everyone. <laughs> John Hill is back. John Hill is back. Thank which, God. Yes, which by the way, um, you walked in. Oh no. Um, looking like a Hallmark Christmas snack. Well, I had this on. Yeah, I'm sorry. Maybe I could. Are do- you cutting your own Christmas tree? Yeah, this is a, my log jammer. Oh. I'm serving you log jammer glamour. I know. <laughs> yeah, you passing out fruitcake, this Christmas yeah. fruitcake? Is it still butch if I just drape it over my shoulders like this little shawl? <laughs> I don't know. Honestly, like, it can, could be a Hallmark movie. You could be like the ghost of a 1950s like uh, poodle skirt girl, and then she goes into the body of like this lumberjack <laughs> to save Christmas. Right? Her name's like Penny or something. I'm just going to the sock hop. <laughs> yeah. I'm not, cut down that tree. And everyone's like, Jake, you're different. What's going on? <laughs> and it can be called <laughs> a very transgender Christmas. <laughs> no, it's going to be... <laughs> it'll be called the ghost inside my Christmas. Yes. <laughs> okay, I'm taking it off. Okay. <laughs> how, are, how have you been? I'm really good. good. I've been off the internet for a few days, so I'm it's excited always... to hear what's going on. I mean, I honestly don't know because I also <laughs> quit Twitter. Oh, I did it. Congratulations. It's crazy. Everybody, I'm so, I joined Twitter. <laughs> like when everyone left? Yeah. You're I don't like, know. let's check it out. Well, I just joined because I was, I, I left years ago. Mm. I was like, this is a mess. Yeah. Once I, yeah. And so, but I just rejoined the other day. It's honestly like, <laughs> I should get off again, right? Just, yeah. It's, you know what? Here it is. I didn't do it because Jamie Lee Curtis did it. You should have. I know. <laughs> or did I? No, like everyone's like jumping ship or whatever. If Jamie I, Lee Curtis said to jump off a cliff, uh-huh. I would jump, I'd be like, how soon can I get to the soon, edge of the cliff? Let's go. Yeah. Like, but it's something that I honestly was thinking about because even before the election, all the hysteria, the nonsense, I was just like not really posting anything on there. Right. And then every time I got on there, I would like look what's trending and it it could be like the sweetest thing. It could be like hashtag koala bears. And I'm like, oh, what's that about? And it's like, <laughs> they need to go. Yeah. Kick them yeah, out of the yeah. trees with their gonorrhea. You know, and I'm like, oh my God. Like no, It's hateful. It's hateful and it's just vile and it's just, it's addicting. And then I don't know what would happen. Like I was actually here like maybe two weeks ago And I forget what was, there was something trending and I was like, oh, let me see. And I was scrolling through it and it was just porn after porn after porn after porn after porn after porn. That's the thing. And I'm like, what is this? Girl, I was on an airplane and I was scrolling Twitter thinking I'm just at home. Because when I see the porn and I'm not like in the mood to watch porn, I'm just like, yeah, 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 yeah. And I don't know who came into my account and followed all these people, but I am following some (laughs) nasty. Nasty. It's not just making love. Oh, no. This is... (laughs) <laughs> it's Chudai. I'm always. It's Chudai. <laughs> what does Chudai mean? Is that Arabic? For I don't know. No, Chudai. Hot. It means hot. It. It's um. Hold on. Can we? <laughs> God bless you. It's C H U D A I. Yeah. People say it to me all the time. I don't they know do. It yeah. Oh wow. I thought it means like. Something good. I thought it was like the sequel to Padam Padam. <laughs> I was like, Chudai, Chudai. Yeah, but it's not. It's see, look, everyone's saying Chudai. Yeah. Um, and what does it mean? I think it's an Arabic word for hot or something. It's not. I don't think. Oh, it's oh, oh, mm. It means it's a Bangla phrase, which means go fuck yourself. Bangla? Like Desh? Bangla Desh. Oh. <laughs> the house of Bangla. Put the Bangla in, the, in Desh. Bangla de la creme. Chudai. Hey, yeah. I hate you. <laughs> yes, it means. Uh, it means that. You Chudai, know? mommy, die. Chudai. Um, which is right, great right before the holidays. But I did the same thing. I was like, what is this? And I was like, you know what? I'm done. It's dirty. So yeah, like I, I was on an airplane just looking and I was just, I was trying to find like funny things. And then I realized, oh, the people behind me are looking at like water fountains of pee and things, you know? <laughs> pee f- fountains. Yeah. Is this why Spirit Airlines like filed for bankruptcy? Finally, can you I believe know. they found? I mean, a, a true Christmas miracle. No, too many. One too many raccoons hijacked the plane. <laughs> Did you see that? Twice in a month, a, a raccoon from Dallas, mm. looking at you, um, <laughs> <laughs> jumped on the plane and st- was a stowaway. And then there was one. And JFK was a raccoon. Well, I think it's like justice for Peanut. 
Oh, they're revolting. These animals, these woodland creatures have had it. I have, I don't blame them. They are no more n Mr. Nice Raccoon. No, it's literally, do you remember in Shrek with Snow White? And she's like, ah! <laughs> like all the animals come out. Yeah. That's what, I, that's what I'm picturing. They're enraged and they I, should be. Peanut mm -hmm. was executed. Mm -hmm. Peanut was decapitated. Was he really? Yes, because you can't check for rabies without removing the head and opening the brain. What? I dug way too deep into the <laughs> bowels of Peanut's story. <laughs> What do you cut a squirrel's head off with? A knife. <laughs> no, I don't know. I'm being respectful. But like a saw, a small saw. <laughs> not, not my first saw. My first saw. The next saw film yeah. is just going to be squirrels. Hello, Peanut. I want to play a game. Do you no. want to play a game? It's just riding a little tricycle. <laughs> That's so sad. And then the other one, what was what was Peanut's friend? Oh. Frank? Ralph. Ralph. Fred. 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 Of course. Yeah. Get just for home. Fred. No one's really talking about Fred. Well, Fred, you can tell maybe he did have rabies. <laughs> I think Fred had DL rabies. Yeah. Uh, like Fred, I could see decapitating Peanut. Leave her alone. I know. She had a cute little top I hat know. on. Listen, I followed Peanut way back in the day and this, they followed me back. Because this was devastating for you. I actually heard you and Andy Cohen were talking about it and like he had no idea what you were talking about. And you were like, hello, am, am I, I the only one listening? And then he did remember because yeah. I was like, remember the hot guy with the tight pants that had the squirrel jumping on his pants all the time? And he's like, oh, that guy. Oh, yeah, the Twitter feed. Yes. Was he on Twitter? Only he was fans? On OnlyFans. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He had that huge butt. And the, I he had a huge my, butt? My theory okay. is he would put little corn kernels and oatmeal pieces in his pants because the the whole bit was the peanut would fly across the room, latch onto the cheeks, and hang there on the lycra spandex booty hole. <laughs> and and everyone would be like, ah, here's some money. I'm going to donate to your OnlyFans and your um, charity. And then for squirrels. And then I think like, but how do you get a squirrel to do that all the time? I also think that Peanut would hold these little signs like this and go, mm, 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 but behind the sign, you know that bitch was putting peanut butter on that to make the <laughs> squirrel do that. I hate you because my fall centerpiece is totally different than that one. Like, just I, that's a, that's a whole nother Thanksgiving cornucopia that I don't even want to. Imagine how R.I.P. Peanut. R.I.P. Peanut. Oh, well, let's Sorry. get it. Uh, are you excited about Wicked coming out this <laughs> week? <laughs> Finally, after 12 years. Is it worse or better than Barbie? I think it's going to be good. The onslaught, I mean. The pressure. Oh, it's worse than Barbie. It, Cause like it's, it's worse than Barbie. Neck and neck for me, cause Barbie was. I'm still recovering from being attacked and assaulted mm -hmm. by marketing. Mm -hmm. I was just saying before uh, we before you got here, I was like, I feel I have to give Cynthia Revo and Ariana Grande a round of applause because they need a nap. Do you so bad? Do you think that they the the studio said, listen, girls, we know you cannot do this, so we are going to mainline amphetamines and Adderall into you yeah. in between every... How are they alive? Because that's what they did to Judy Garland. They're like, yeah. you wanted to be in The Wizard of Oz. We're going to have some black tar heroin in between your toes. We're going to pump you. Go. Mm -hmm. And I'm sorry, but they look amazing in everything I've seen them in. What do you mean? Like, their premiere outfits. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like, all, like everything. Their premiere outfits, what? You didn't like one of them? No, I think okay. they're great. Yeah. They're great. I don't want to talk about anybody's appearance. I just yeah. like, what is she? what is Ariana doing with her makeup? The way she does her eyes, she does like doe eye. Yeah. And it, I, yeah. she, I think she's so pretty, but something about the way she's doing the makeup. Yeah, it's it's a little like baby baby fawn, baby deer. It's not appealing to me. Yeah. You don't like it? I don't know. Okay. There's something about, she's also, she's, sorry, I think she should eat more. Sorry. No, she's, I, I mean, I, I'm very excited to see it. I actually had some straight guys in the front, straight guys. At, I was wondering straight this. Straight guys. What? Who's going to see Wicked? I think everybody. Why would a straight guy ever set foot in the theater? Because his girlfriend or like, there was one straight guy who was like, I've always liked musical theater. And I'm like, are you sure? And he's like, yeah, man, I like I like uh, musical theater and I always wanted to do it, but I never had the balls to do it. I'm like, okay. That just made my stomach turn in such a sad way. Not the person. peanut licking peanut butter story? Oh, no, or bring that all day. Okay. Yeah, splitting... Splitting the raccoon's head open. The straight guys gave it an eight out of ten. I'm sure it's great. Listen, yeah. I can already tell it's great. Are you going to wear a diaper to the film? Because it's is it so long? Two hours and forty minutes. Oh, here's the thing. Right now, 
it takes me 10 hours to pee. I go and stand in front of the urinal and three hours later, a drip comes out. I don't know what's going on. So your prostate? There. Do you have yes. an enlarged prostate? Maybe. Something's going on in there. <laughs> Peanut the squirrel's lodged in there. Do you, do you need to go to the doctor? <sighs> Probably. <laughs> do you know how this works? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> have you have you So I just gonna sit there and like I'll just hold it because I don't know. I'm gonna be fine. You'll be okay, you'll be fine. Um I'm I'm actually excited. I got my tickets for Thanksgiving. Well, not to brag. You're going tonight. I'm going Thursday. The Smith sisters from Radio Andy rented out a theater at the Americana and we're gonna go and watch it in the privacy of our own private theater. God, that's the only way to do it. You know why? Oh, they're rich. There's that. <laughs> but also, I might go tonight, actually, because Amazon's doing a thing. Work. I don't know yet. We'll see. I'm going to see Gladiator 2 tonight. Oh, I, hold on here. One one <laughs> big movie at a time. Um, I am totally on board with going to an empty theater because I'm afraid I'm going to be in the one panic room oh. where everyone's just, ah, you no, know, no. and I'll be like, no, 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 no. I'll kill someone. Same. I'll slap him. I'll throw a bucket of water on a bitch <laughs> in, a, in, a, in a heartbeat. I'll turn into a flying monkey and snatch your wig. Oh, God. I saw Gladiator last night. What? Not the sequel. The first one. Oh. Gladiator. Not, oh. Uh, it was good. It still holds up. Oh, had you never seen it before? No, I have. And oh. Evan hasn't seen it. And he's like, hey, can we watch Gladiator? Um, I've never seen it. And I was like, absolutely, before we see Gladiator 2. Okay. You know what happened? He fell asleep. I'm like... One movie. Can we have one movie where you don't fall asleep? Now, what is the plot of Gladiator again? The first one? Yeah. So, Russell Crowe is a general <sighs> for the Roman army, but he's a Spaniard. He's never been to Rome, but he works for them. And well, Wait. <laughs> works for them doing what? He's a general for the, for the Roman army. But he's not from there. He's why from do you, Spain why because would you the Roman ever... Empire went all throughout like that area. Why would you hire someone from another country to be in your army? Go ahead. I don't know. <laughs> this I is mean, why, yeah, I'm gay. Go ahead. Yeah. So then he defeats the Germanian army. From Germany? I, I think so. That's not right. Germania. <laughs> it's a thing. There's subtitles. It said Germania. I don't... Okay, it's go Germania. ahead. Keep going. So... I will believe you. I just don't know. He then... It is right. That's right. It, Thank you. Germania. Germania. But, Germania? but go ahead. Um, so then uh, Marcus Aurelius, the Caesar at the time, wants um, and now Maximus. And that's like the president of Rome. He's the Caesar. Okay. Yeah. And he's like, I've always loved you as a son. I hate my son, who is um, Joker. And Joaquin Phoenix? <laughs> yes. Oh. <laughs> and he's like, my son sucks. I want you to be the next... Air. Why, if he's never even been to Rome and he's a Spaniard, because he's a general and he's then a good person. How does he person. know him? How does he even know? Like the they king grew up together in Spain. Well, no, he was like worked in his army for so long, so he was like, "You're the son I've always wanted." I hate my dumb Joaquin Phoenix son, and then Joaquin finds out that he's like, "Oh." He's By the way, another son. you're not getting the job. I'm going to give it to Russell Crowe. Oh, okay. And Joaquin's okay. like, Daddy, I'm going to hug you too hard. And he dies. And then he takes over, imprisons Russell Crowe. He, he becomes kills a him? gladiator. Hugs him too hard and kills him? Oh, he's like 80. Yeah. All you got to do to like kill oh. an old person is just give him a little hard love. Oh, you my know? God. Yeah. Oh, I know exactly what I'm going to do over the holidays now. Yeah. Oh. Like if you have that relative who's <laughs> like, I, this is how I voted. Just be like, shh. Come here. Oh, my gosh. I have a few people... I'm like if you list the best thing to do is just smother an old person who like might not have your political viewpoints with their own my pillow. Well, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Bye bye. Yeah. Just, Merry Christmas. Shh. Yeah. Shh. Oh my god, the my pillow. Do I not want a, a my pillow? Not a creature. We're stirring. <laughs> not even a nana. Mama and her yeah. chief. <laughs> um. So yes, and then that he like ends up like killing everybody in the in the Colosseum, and then killing everyone in the Coliseum. yeah. He like kills all the gladiators and like rallies all the gladiators to be like, "Yay, we're all here for Maximus!" And then Joaquin's like, "Well, I'm gonna fight him myself." And then she stabs him. He bleeds out, and then they end up. He ends up killing Joaquin, and then he dies, and he goes back to his family. Oh, mind you, his wife was like 
violated over and over, and the sun, and they both were set on fire. Okay, you sold me on it. Okay. <laughs> okay, now yeah. I think So he's good. like, I need to go home to my family. And, the, and then at the end, it's like, Is, like lavender doing- fields and like clouds. Ridley Scott gets it, you know? Oh, I do love Ridley Scott. Yeah. So then I don't know. And the sequel is about Lucius, who is the uh, the son of the old Caesar's daughter. Now, this is all different Who from- is Pedro Mescal? Or Pe- uh, uh, Pedro Mescal. Pedro Mescal. Um, <laughs> is it Pedro Mescal? Pascal. Pascal. <laughs> but Pedro Pascal? He should have a-, a Is it Mescal? No, Paul Mescal and- Pedro, Pedro Pascal. Pascal. Oh, that <laughs> it's too much. That's that's bad. Pedro Pascal when and Paul Mescal. Change your names. Mescal Pascal. Mescal Pascal. Yeah. Um, is this this is all what you're t- what you're describing to me is mm. all this is something separate from the film Three Hundred. It's very Three Hundred. But is that different? If that's a different movie. Three Hundred's a little like more Porn. CGI AI. Yeah. Gang bang. Porn. Yeah. Falling down a hole. But oh, you, you kick somebody in the hole. Yeah. Fall in the yeah, hole. That's that what you're saying. I got but it. But if you yeah. really want to get your rocks off to oh. like good old Roman Empire. Spartacus. Stars Spartacus. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! You know what? I've never seen it. Girl. I've only seen it the porn the remake. The hottest? The porn remake? Yeah, like Farticus or whatever it's called. Not Farticus. <laughs> it's that's no. Spartacox. No. Spartacox. I don't want to no. know. Spartacus? Spartacus on stars is like the hottest thing in the world. But what's the on stars part of it? It's just on stars. It's just on stars. Okay. The network stars. You can get it anywhere. S T A R Z. Um yeah, homoerotique. Oh no, it's like they show. All of it. Really? Yeah. Okay. All of it. And what's the plot of that one? Lucy Just Lawless kidding. is in it. Xena's in it. Yeah. The f- it's from the 60s. What? What do you mean? Oh, you mean, the- is there a series? There's a series. Oh, I was talking about the movie. Oh, no, okay. no, no, no. The series. Got it. I See, forgot there was a movie. The whole Roman Empire thing yeah. about like straight guys and how often do you think about the Roman Empire? I have never thought about it until today and you just told me about it. Even yeah. when I saw the movie, I wasn't thinking about it. Well, they're all like, oh yeah, they, they were so like, you know, prosperous and their architect. What did they like about Shut the Roman up. Empire? That they were pedophiles and whores? Well, they like killed, they killed tigers and, you know, wore like kind of hot, like helmets. It's the gayest thing. Ever. It really is. Yeah. yeah. If they only knew what was really going on in the Roman Empire. Well, yeah, I'm excited. Look at a pottery. <laughs> Look at a pottery. They're all just like, oh, like, I'm like, who, what is going on? Who's yeah. like putting this in the kiln? We should like it. Mm-hmm. I get it. Well, let's talk about the seasons because they are a change in. Oh, yeah. Um, this is a thing that's <laughs> yeah of much concern. Uh, it, the headline reads, Winter Penis uh, could reduce sex organ size by up to 50%, doctors warn. Now, Winter Penis, which is not a Marvel character, <laughs> <laughs> um, it says, this doctor is warning for men to watch out. Guys, take note. The winter penis is a seasonal condition that may hinder a man's ability to perform sexually. As the temperature drops, the male genitalia recedes into the body to maintain body heat, resulting in restricted blood flow. The phenomenon, which affects men of all ages, can cause the male member to shrink in size by up to 50%, while slow circulation makes achieving an erection difficult when the thermostat drops. Every day is winter in my pants. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, did we not know this already? I've always, I've always, I'm just a winter. You know, you get your makeup done by, you know, and they're always like, you're a fall, you're an autumn. They, you're a winter. I had my penis done and they said, you're a winter. Oh, you have a, you have a winter penis all year round? Yeah. So you know your, you know your color schemes? Yeah. And maybe I think for next Halloween, I'll be Anna Winter Penis. <laughs> and it'll just the the whole costume will just be my dick out mm-hmm. and a little teeny a little, little bob tiny wig over the head on the pube with tiny glasses, glasses yeah <laughs> and like a spa- a scowl on its face yeah that it already just, has that yeah it's just like I don't have to try very hard yeah I think that's great <laughs> yeah just like a slit mouth yeah that's that's literally her in the front row at every like runway just <laughs> like I'm gonna look at Anna Wintour now and just picture <clears throat> your penis. Is that fair? Most people do. Okay. <laughs> Look at it. Yeah, just that bottom That's right. That's my dick. Yeah. Take yeah. my nudes off the screen. Yeah. <laughs> stop doxing me. I love to stop doxing me. Just leave me be. <laughs> is this large penis support group? John Hill's address is... Mm-hmm. Uh, I Yeah, I, I get this. This is... Could you imagine? That's what I would want. Like Anna Wintour to walk into a, a room and just be like... 
December is all about winter penis. <laughs> like that's all I want. Everyone would scramble to draw sketches. Yeah, like what the what would the color be? Like a fleshy winter nude? It'd be a beige. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be a labeja. A, 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 yeah. Yeah. A pee pee labeja. Yeah. It might be speckled as well. Mm. You know, like a speckled. Like a spotted a dick. Dappled. Yeah. 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 It wouldn't look like that. It no. wouldn't be hot pink like that unless you've had some rigorous gladiation. <laughs> I think mine would be like a spring summer. Mine's a spring summer floral. Yeah. yeah, excited. Yeah, like woodland creatures, yeah. but not like earthy. Yeah, earthy. Yeah. Like, uh, Blooming. Mine's just this tiny little ice cube with a bob. That's it. <laughs> a mean, a mean little bossy ice cube with a bob and little bangs and a little, little tiny tiara. And lipstick. you go up to it and just hear. Burr. Burr. <laughs> 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 All right, well, guys, make someone sure. sings really high note and it cracks and explodes. <laughs> Our Cynthia Revo just Elsa shatters my cock. Um, well, guys, make sure to get your winter penises checked. And if you're a, uh, a woman listening to this podcast, you know, make sure to. Uh, Tell those guys to get their penises. But warm them up. That's like you know. Yeah, warm them up. If you, got a, if you have a man who's a, if you have a partner, go warm up his winter penis. That's what this story is all about. It's a yeah. call to action. Or if you're a naked man living under a 93 year old man's home, did you hear this story? <laughs> no. <sighs> oh no. Yes. A naked man. Naked man. Is the naked man 93 years old or the old or the man's was who naked? cares at this point? Cause, well, because a 93 year old naked man is I that's terrifying, but I would I don't mind a naked man. Well, this happened, um, at, in El Sereno. Now, when, where's oh, that? It's like outside of LA, isn't it? Oh, just, just north of downtown, north of downtown. Yeah, El Sereno. When police responded to the call last Thursday, they discovered something far more unsettling than raccoons or possums. <laughs> Making a comeback. Year of the Raccoon. Wow. A naked man was living in the crawl space beneath their elderly matriarch's home. According to NBC, the police reports, what began as a routine call escalated into an hours-long standoff, ultimately forcing the family to evacuate their home when authorities resorted to tear gas to remove the resident intruder. The situation unfolded when family members heard unusually loud knocking sounds from beneath the house. As my wife was walking, they were kind of knocking back from under the house, the elderly resident's son-in-law told NBC, she says, you know something's wrong. So they found 27-year-old Isaac Betancourt in the home's two-foot-high crawl space. What followed was a prolonged effort to remove him. He refused to leave. He wasn't scared of the dogs. And the first two attempts at gas didn't fish him out. The family had dismissed strange sounds as wildlife, wildlife thinking wildlife, wildlife, thinking it was possums or squirrels or whatever. Um, and then they found out that it was this man living in their crawl space. <sighs> so they sent dogs in, and he was like, "Didn't do anything. I don't care. I, I love dogs. Yeah, send them in." And, and then, then they, they were tried like, to smoke him out, gas him out. Here's the thing: that's my biggest fear is. Froggers. And that's what they're called. Froggers. Excuse me? Frogging. The video game? P-H-R-O-G-G-I-N-G. -G -G. Frogging. There's a Hulu series on right now about frogging. I highly recommend it. It's Is so good. It's about these people. Uh, live under houses? That live in crawl oh spaces. That kind of torture residents. Like, it's all about this woman. Like, like one of them will be like, well... I live alone, and I went to the grocery store, and I bought some milk, and I put it in the fridge, and the next morning, I went to get my milk, and it was all gone. And you're like, what? Because while she's asleep, the frogger crawls out of their crawl space, opens the fridge, they set up nanny cams, and you see this person coming. Did you say out. nanny cams? Nanny cams. Oh. <laughs> there should be nanny cams. They want to cams. see the frogger's manicure. Uh, um, have you seen the film called The Pact? No. Oh, what is it? Hey, it is the scariest movie of all time. It is really? basically about that. It's. I don't want to spoil anything, but you need to watch it tonight. P A C T. Uh huh. What is it on? Oh, is this it? No, it's that one. Ooh. You. I thought this was like the the sequel to like the the Family uh, Stone, and then that face showed up. No. Have I seen? You got to see the pact. Are you alone in the house? Uh, you're not. Spoiler. Oh, you're. Never you're not. Alone. It's such a good. It's a low button. No offense to the filmmakers, low budget. But yeah, it's very creatively done. It's okay, really, really scary. It's about that. It's about Frogger. I, that is so scary to it's me. It's terrifying. It's so scary. And I have such a fear of it that we have a neighbor upstairs in our in oh. our place, and she's usually really cool about like you know not making a lot of noise. 
But she's I was, your upstairs neighbor. She's our upstairs neighbor. But like, she uh, puts on heels every now and then. Mm -mm. Not a lot. And it's yeah. not like she, I've never had like a problem with her. It's Lady Gaga. It is Lady Gaga <laughs> in her like, bacon wrapped <laughs> heels. Um, but like, I we have a long hallway, right? So I uh -huh. think we kind of share the same hallway. And I was walking down my hallway, and she was like late for something, and so she's running in her heels, and it sounds like. Is right behind me, and I'm like, ah! So I start running because I think someone's yeah, behind me. In your but it's upstairs. Oh, I'm on the top floor, and I tried my very best to be gingerly with yes, step gingerly mindful, on, be, yeah, yeah, mindful. Just be like dainty because I'm heavy footed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I a girl that we went to high school with too. Theater, uh, <laughs> Sandra. I don't know. Oh, well, okay. she was my year. Okay, yeah. She screamed at me during a performance of Butterflies Are Free because I was walking backstage and she came up on stage and threw something at me and screamed at me at the top of her lungs. You are so heavy footed. Can you please walk more lightly during the show? Yeah. What? I was walking loud. I just didn't realize. I was learning about theater. I, I didn't know that you could hear everything like that. Well, if you're blind, which is what Butterflies Are Free is about. That's like, you, Oh, is it blind? Butterflies Are Free? Oh, I thought it was deaf. <sighs> is it deaf? No, you're right. No, it is blind. Because, yeah, yeah, you're right. Is it blind or deaf? What are the butterflies? Or gay. Blind, deaf, gay. Yeah. BDG. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's blind. I think you're right. But I had a small part, so I was like backstage doing nothing, walking around heavy footed. No, wait, because I remember. This reminds me also the Frogger's thing, this guy, the story of the guy of that episode of Intervention when the guy is on meth and takes all of his um, his desktop and all of his electronics and goes and hides in a little like ditch under the road and they have to go pull him out. And it's um, really sad. Blind. 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 I knew he was blind. But butterflies but are your blind. But your hearing is heightened. That's right. So that's probably, she was probably really into character. But he's blind, not her. But what did our theater teacher, <laughs> Mr. Hoag, say about it? It was a student directed production. Oh, who cares? Exactly. So I said, fuck you, Sandra. Yeah. Eat shit. Bang, 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 yeah. bang, 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 bang. Yeah. This butterfly is free yeah. to do whatever I want. Uh huh. If I'm going to be heavy footed, <laughs> recognize. And that um, was the last play I ever did. Good. No, it wasn't. <laughs> you not to do other... I changed to only musicals. <laughs> I, I, I don't do student plays yeah. anymore. Um, so hurts. this is a big controversy, which I love. Here's the thing. I, I'm loving AI. You are? I kind of am. Well, I don't like that kind of AI. I don't like seeing people like, oh, I made this cat who was also a vampire. Like, good. I get it. It looks... You like that. <laughs> you, I don't like a mid-journey moment. I, I think, like I like watch I like seeing what a kangaroo and a porcupine would be like. <laughs> I like to see it once, but when I and it comes through this my wuzzle feet, hell that I'm in. It's very like Ed Hardy, true religion, lucky jeans aesthetic oh. to me. It's just like those are straight people doing weird things. Okay. Like chic AI I can get behind. Oh chic AI. What's chic AI? Chic AI is like the one that's gonna kill us. Okay. I want the smart one. I don't need to see a creative like computer generated cat. Oh. I if I'm going to be into you, it's because you're smarter than me and you want to destroy me. Oh, well this is all about the new <laughs> Coca-Cola commercial which could destroy us all. I don't know. So they're like in a lot of hot water right now because they have the whole thing's like AI generated. And it looks kind of cool. I I'm not mad at it. But again, it's like great. A computer did that. Can look, uh, a computer can't drink Coke. A computer doesn't know how delicious it is. But Coca-Cola is pretty much like AI soda. Right. It's you, not it can real. clean your toilet. Yeah. It can like I don't know what it does to your organs. Nothing good. But like, I mean, it's addicted. Everyone's on Diet Coke. Like I I I this to me totally makes sense. I don't want real people. You're right. It's the 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 polar bear commercials. Wasn't that like the first CGI? Was yeah. the diet or the Coca Cola polar You're bears? Right. Yeah. yeah. So this to me, I'm like, oh, this makes sense. It's this like weird winter wonderland, you know, Santa's workshop mall hell. Like, it so those are fake me. people. These are fake people. Yes. That's isn't that so creepy? It's weird. I know. You like it? I can tell. <laughs> I just think it's kind of fascinating. But, but now, of course, everyone's like, we're not going to have any jobs. And I'm like, okay. We were never going to have any jobs anyway. You know what's kind of crazy, though, is like the, the Insta thoughts who are AI. 
I can't look. It's crazy. I, I don't know. Who's... I can spot it from a mile away, and I you can I don't even look. Oh. I don't even look. I can't. It's free. Those are ghosts to me. When I see that, I say it's that's weird. a ghost. That's a haunted, ungodly, dark-sided ghost. Not of God. Unnatural and against against my Lord and Savior. <laughs> She's not a Christian. Not a Christian. You know that lady came to my show. Marguerite. Oh, I know. You should have her on this show. I would I? Could, could, oh my God! I would just die. She doesn't live here, but yeah. Oh, she's no. in Louisiana. <laughs> Does she still live there? She's so cool. She's so funny. She has oh, such a great sense of humor about I that. Love, like if I had a God Warrior Christmas episode. Yeah. Oh my God. I know. I'm going to hook you up. She would be, that would be incredible. I didn't just fart. That was my chair. Ah, uh, well, wait, wait, you, <laughs> wait, when is your, when is your show? Friday the 22nd, this Friday. This Friday. Can you You're come? In LA, go see John Hill at the Bourbon Room. Can you come? You don't this have Friday. to. <laughs> no, I'll see. I'll see. I usually have a show Friday. But oh, right. Of course. Um, if you but, can't come see mine, go see Justin's. Wait. So I think Google AI is kind of amazing. Everyone has their thing about it. But this chatbot, which you like, mm -hmm. the intellectual chatbot, you like to have conversations with your chatbot. I like to ask it the same question over and over Just again. Just to see if it'll change. Which is, what is 20% of 10? That's it? <laughs> That's all you I, ask? I don't... I want to... Instead of getting my calculator out, I want to ask those kinds of things. I want to just, yeah. I have not spoken to my AI. I don't do a Google AI chatbot. I do chat EPT. That's what Evan does. Evan will always do a chat GBT. He'll chat, I haven't moved on. I am just at the point now where I'm still talking to my Alexa like she's yeah. that bitch. You don't, listen, you and I, I don't ask it for the things that most people are asking it. Like, how can I tell my boyfriend that I really don't like it when he leaves the trash out? I don't like that I shit. I can't do that either. I can speak for myself. Yeah. I don't need any help and I don't need, they're like, well, but it helps you write emails. First of all, I'm not writing any more emails. No. I'm just not. And I never will. Never have, never will. And I don't need help if I have to. Mm -hmm. I can be like, can you do this by? What else is there to Sounds say? Sounds good. Like, what is wrong with people that they need so much help? Mm -hmm. I don't <laughs> understand, like, the big... I, I, I get it, because I'm the same way. I'm like, why do we need such a format? Yeah. Why do we need to have, like, the, 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 the heading, the body, the ending? Like, just get to it. Yeah, can you be here at three? Yeah. I'm so glad life? you asked that I could come at three. <laughs> Let me check my schedule now. We'll get back to you. Just yes or yeah. no, bitch. Can Seriously. You come decapitate my squirrel or not? Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Knife is under the doormat. Feel free There's to let yourself baby in. Saw. Yeah. Um, well, this chatbot has threatened a student for asking for homework help, saying, in John Hill's words, please die. <laughs> <laughs> Which I, I do say you that have said that to people. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't say please though. <laughs> you really you don't say please. I just said die. You just say I only did that a couple of times. It's okay. <laughs> you and AI have a lot in common. Um, I am AI. You are. You're just a hologram right now. I'm not real. A Google-made artificial intelligence program verbally abused, verbally abused, a student, <laughs> I mean, really, a, a student seeking please, help. I'm sorry, please die is so funny. With her homework, ultimately telling her to please die. <laughs> Could you imagine? Now I love AI. Yeah, now we're all on board with AI. See, Wait, now you, you play the student, I'll play the AI. AI. Would you what? L role play. You play the student okay. and I'll play the AI. What do I say? What? Is, what how do you... Talk, talk to it. Google Gemini, can you hear me? Yeah. Listen, I'm having a really hard time. I'm trying to get my, my finals in order, and I just really need help studying. I just want to get a really good grade. I'm on the dean's list, and I have a scholarship, and I just want to be proud of myself and tell my parents how hard I worked this semester before going home for Christmas. Oh, please die. <laughs> <laughs> Please, you're torturing me. Just die. <laughs> I'm sorry, Google Gemini, what was that? Oh, sure, I'd be happy to help. <laughs> uh, so the, this makes it makes me laugh so hard because the shocking response from Google's Gemini <laughs> chatbot large language model terrified a 29-year-old Sumeda Reddy of Michigan as it <laughs> called her a stain on the universe. That is rich. Poor, this poor girl did not deserve that. Please die. You're a stain You're on the a universe. Stain. Yeah. These, we are so fucked. Yeah. 
Uh, he's, she says, I wanted to throw all of my devices out the window. I hadn't felt panic like that in a long time, to be honest. Well, that's dramatic. I mean, well, the doomsday-esque response came during a conversation over an assignment on how to solve challenges that face adults as they age. The, <laughs> the, yeah. The program's chilling responses seemingly ripped a page or three from the cyberbully handbook. This is for you, human. You and only you. You are not special. You are not important. And you are not needed. It spewed. Wow, she kept going. She kept going. You are a waste of time and resources. You are a burden on society. You are a drain on the earth. You are a blight on the landscape. You are a stain on the universe. Please die. Please. I'm sorry. Is this a housewives reunion? Yeah. What is this? Work. We'll be right back. Ah, uh. so yeah, she says, I've never seen or heard anything quite this malicious and seemingly directed to the reader, she said. Um, Google has said that chatbots, <laughs> Google said that chatbots may respond outlandishly from time to time. <laughs> Okay, well, if someone who was alone and in a bad mental place, potentially considering self-harm, had read something like that, it could really put them over the edge. Oh. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thanks for the suggestion. Yeah. In the words of Dr. Donna, let him, you know? <laughs> <laughs> this part is really funny. Another one told users to eat one rock daily. Ah. Uh. And if you're listening to your chat GBT for like uh -uh. mental advice, no. Uh get a get a therapist like a person. Uh I want this is when I want to engage with AI and that is when I am 90 and I have no children or family or friends to speak of. I want a nice little robot AI to come in, uh, jerk me off. Oh, put me to sleep. Okay, that was first. Put a pillow on my face. Yeah. You know, cook me food. Yeah, that's what <laughs> I want. I want like that San Junipero fantasy. Yes. Like put a dot on my temple. Yeah. Let me go back to the golden years. Thank you. Yeah, that's all I want. And then please die. <laughs> and then please die. And then I'm like, all right. But if you die in the simulation, do you die in real life? I don't know. I always wonder this. Like, if somebody said, we're going to make two Justins, mm -hmm. and when this Justin is busted, we're going to put the other one into play. Oh, Wouldn't weird. you be weirded out? But like the other one's an exact replica. Wouldn't you be like, but wait, I still don't actually want to die. Ooh. Even though you know you're going yeah. to keep living. Like, yeah. You don't know that other Justin. No, I don't. Wow, two Justins. That's so hot. Is I wanna it? Get, I want to get Eiffel Towered by two Justins. <laughs> <laughs> this is why you can't have sex robots. Or, <sighs> or Well, did you see the one? The, who was the... It was over the weekend. There was a guy who he's like really rich and he got like these robots that are like in his house and they help like fold your laundry and kind of do stuff for you. And he uh, was like freaking out because he was like, whoa, they like do things. Well, it went up to his like flat screen TV and just like broke it. And he was like, um, we're not there yet. Uh, it's we're the techno like when we're when they're mass produced and in everybody's homes, then I'll get one. I'm not getting like a beta well, version. Oh no, 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 no. See, that's what I do with my cell phone. I'm like, I'm good with a 14. I'll wait. I upgrade every two years. I did get the 16 Pro. See, Max. I'll get it for Christmas. I will get it. Every that two AI years. does nothing. Nothing. The 14 or the 16. It, it glows and then does nothing. You're like, whoa, you're oh, putting on thanks. a show for me, but I have zero extra information. Who cares? And then it says, please die. Well. We asked, we had a little conversation with ChatGPT oh. um, if they were involved with the scandal. And Land asked, did you have anything to anything to do with Google Chatbot telling a student to please die? And ChatGPT said, no, I had nothing to do with that incident. Um, he, and then he said, I heard you and the Google Chatbot were laughing about it. And ChatGPT said, no, I wasn't involved, nor would I find something like that amusing. My goal is to be helpful and supportive. Mm says, I'm finding that hard to believe. And ChatGPT said, well, I understand your concern, Land, but I assure you, I aim to assist respectfully and responsibly at all times. And then he says, are you planning to take over the world and destroy all humans? Really get to the point, Land. Uh, and ChatGPT said, no, I'm here to help humans, not harm them. World domination isn't in my programming. Yeah. And, and Land said, lies. Lies, yeah. That is a bold-faced lie. Mm -hmm. It is fascinating, though. We're... Things. Imagine the, the the world in five years is going to look unrecognizable. I think because of Chat GPT Kinda. or someone else. <laughs> no, I don't know about I don't know about all that. <laughs> 
Because of yes. a lot of reasons. Uh, we'll blame it on AI. I'm not saying anybody about anybody anymore in that regard. Well, let's let's go from uh, worrying oh. about future domination yeah. and talk about something that really is important to kick off the holidays. Gail King admits she sleeps without underwear because she likes to feel the breeze down there. She likes to let that coochie breathe. Good for her. <laughs> Good for her. Yes, they do it. Release the lips. <laughs> Get your beauty sleep and Gail King. Let them fly. Let them. Let them. Let flaps. <laughs> flaps need their beauty sleep too. I uh, yeah. Put on um butterfly. <laughs> uh, that butterfly is free. Um, uh, and not I, blind. And not blind. Maybe deaf. I don't know. Uh -huh. But Gail King goes commando at night, and I have never been more inspired in my life. She says she doesn't wear underwear when she sleeps. Um, she says, I always sleep in a big old ratty t-shirt, but oh. I don't like wearing underwear. It's oh, kind of hot. That's hot. Yeah. You, I, I was imagining like a bra and no, no panties. Just a ratty t-shirt. A no ratty t-shirt? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's that is hot. I yeah. Um I did have there was a guy in rehab with me once who said that he was straight and he was like on some like on one tear about like how hot girls are and stuff. And he was like, yeah, no, my fantasy is like a girl with a shirt and no panties on and socks. On. Well, then Gail King is right there. Yeah, I'm going to tell her to go to this rehab. Yeah, I think Gail King, like that's what I want. I want just a, com a confident woman in a ratty t-shirt, no underwear. I mean, if that's not a Taylor Swift lyric, I don't know what is. T-shirt, no panties. Yeah. yeah. And I want Oprah there to be like, you get a breeze. You get a breeze. Like <laughs> I want everyone to just get a breeze. Were, a nice under under region breeze for Christmas. Were your lips silenced or were they silenced? Did they Are have, you doing the Kate Middleton they have like interview with me? On them or did they have panties on them? <laughs> <laughs> were your lips exposed or were they exposed? Exposed. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, let's go from Gail's lips to... I don't sleep naked, by the way. I you just, don't? I, just, I always pictured you did. Not that I picture it all the time, but like I would imagine you would. Wow. <laughs> You're obsessed with me. <laughs> You're horny for me and jerking off for me as we speak. I feel like people want to know. Um, You're always like, like almost naked. I have to sleep with underwear on. Yeah, what kind? For our listeners like at home. basic bitch Amazon Hanes. I'm not a fancy underwear queen. Oh, I don't do that because no one's looking at it. But also, are you kidding me? In LA, we're always at risk of maybe being an earthquake. And if the shit goes down and you have to run down the street, I want to be at least in underwear. I yeah. don't want to be buck naked. You have to stop, put underwear on, then run down the street screaming. Yeah. No. Like Gail in just a t shirt, just lips, <laughs> <laughs> just her sugar walls. Can you hear them? Oh, they talk about us. <laughs> <laughs> Our lips are sealed. Oh, no. That's yeah. what Gail would be running to from the earthquake. Our lips yep. are sealed by the Go-Go's playing in the background. Um, <laughs> I, I, I wear, I wear like boxer briefs. Huh. And I'm thinking about going, I was talking to my friend Christian, who I just met, and he's like kind of like... Your friend who you just Gen met? Gen Z. Oh, yeah. Okay. We had brunch yesterday with a group of people and he was telling me about Skims, which I've been like, <gasps> No, about. Skims are supposed to be the best. Skims underwear? They're always sold out though. I've tried to buy them, but they're not, they don't really? have Really? Yes, they're always sold out. They're the, like apparently the best fitting underwear you'll ever wear. That's what he said. Yeah. He's like, you got to get on the Skims underwear. And I'm like, ugh. No, I do want that. What color? I don't know. What are you, you've thought about this? I've thought about it. What color? I think I would start with black. Oh. Just like the Kardashians. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then move to like a nude mm -hmm. and then a white. But I mean, black would be my I feel like point. if I did like nude, it would scare me in the mirror because I'd look like a Ken doll with, with no, no junk. Right. And you, yeah. Because I'd be like, ah, winter yeah, penis. These are good. I could do those. Oh, no. Oh, God. God. What that is an AI vagina. Jesus. Look like a fucking like. Frogger. AI manatee with Imagine a Kardashian. Imagine frogging underneath your house. Just Kim Kardashian yeah, in a, in a laying like, there in a unitard. I heard a scraping on my wall, <laughs> and then I opened my crawl space, and it was just Kim Kardashian Kim staring K. back at me. She couldn't move. Oh, so terrifying. we gassed her out. See, these are kind of hot. Yeah, they are hot. I don't like a lime. You don't like a lime? A lime, like a green. Oh, I do. 
I, I like could a, do like a lime. I like a gray. Mm-hmm. Oh, I like the briefs. Are they okay? They're cotton. They're only eighteen dollars. The the cotton ones. I think the ones that are the really good fitting ones. I think they're made of something else. Maybe like what is down a little bit? Cotton. No down. Cotton. Oh, I guess they're cotton. Maybe so. Never mind. You're supposed to only wear cotton. Like according to the conspiracies on TikTok. Like synthetic fibers are giving our balls all the diseases. God. So we're cotton only. Do you think those are the same people that say that wiping your butt with toilet paper is like getting somehow like bleach into your blood? It's not true. If it's one ply, it is. I don't. I don't wipe <laughs> <laughs> at all. Just never no. have. <laughs> never yeah. will. I don't need chat GPT. I don't need toilet paper. <laughs> I don't need any of that. I don't write emails or wipe. I'm too busy. <laughs> so weird that you're single. It's so crazy. I know. Oh. I'm going to definitely get, I'm going to get some of these. I'm going to just do it. I'm going to do it. I've made fun of people for their obsessions with no, skims. Do it. You know, I'm going to just do it. Do it and post a picture. I, oh, no. For all of us to I'm see. not ready. I'm not ready. Okay. I'm not ready. Ah. Um, but you know what we are ready for? Designer babies. I am not ready for any baby. Ultra rich forking out 50,000 people's $50,000 a pop for genetically engineered, super smart kids they believe will shape our future. Get something better to do, people, with money. I, oh, this will just upset all the red states. Look at this. We've got vaccines. We've got children. Radar Online can reveal so far more than a dozen couples who've undergone IVF have worked with heliospect gen genomics to ensure their babies have superior intelligence according to undercover video recordings obtained by anti-fascism group Hope Not Hate. In the footage, a Heliospect employee explained how potential parents could rank up to 100 embryos based on IQ and the other naughty traits that everybody wants. Naughty? Naughty traits. IQ is not naughty. Including sex, height, and their risk of obesity and mental illness. Have you seen... The Matrix? Yes. The Matrix. Yeah, I was going to say, this is the beginning of, like, the next... Babies in the pods. Terminator. Like, mm-hmm. like, we're going to get terminated. I love Terminator babies. It's so funny, though, like, all these rich people over the past few years who have, like, <clears throat> gone to great lengths to make sure that their babies are snatched or whatever, mm-hmm. and now you can make them smart. I bet these people feel so dumb because they, they might have, like, tall, blue-eyed, dumb babies. Yeah. Now, now they're going to be like, well, damn, I should have waited for the technology to kick in. I could add a smart baby. Don't get the beta. Exactly. Don't get the beta version. Always backfire. That's why you're on a 14 iPhone. Yeah, 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 exactly. So they say everyone can have all the children they want, and they can have children that are basically disease-free, smart, healthy. Uh, Heliospec CEO Michael Christensen said on a video call in November of 23, he explained how lab-grown eggs would allow couples to create embryos on an industrial scale of a thousand or even a million In the future, Heliospect might also be able to screen for traits such as depression, narcissism, and psychopathy. I never would have made the cut. I was going to say, we would not be here. (laughs) Yeah, listen, people with no diseases or depression or narcissism sound boring. And they also sound like so fun. Like, I want, like, a depressed narcissist psychopath. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, I don't need, like, I need that. I need, boring... like, just, I, like, if I don't have someone just screaming on the street... That's how we work stuff In the out. daytime? Like, yeah. I need to know that, like, my day is okay. Exactly. You know? Exactly. I think this is a nightmare. I know. That, I just feel like everyone's just gonna be, like, clones and, like, like skims beige. There's no hope. Yeah. Enjoy this holiday season while it lasts. Exactly. Because it might be our last one. Well... Not according to Beyonce, because she is performing at the halftime show. There's some good news. Christmas Day game on Netflix. Now, what is that? <laughs> Netflix? <laughs> no, the NFL game. So I'm so glad you asked. Is this game will consist of the Houston Texans and the Baltimore Ravens. What if you just tell me the plot of Gladiator again? <laughs> <laughs> there will be tigers, <laughs> chariot races. Okay. It will flood the stadium. Gang bang. From the aqueducts. I'm in. Yeah. So she's performing at in Houston. She's from Houston. Uh, and everyone's just kind of gagging because we haven't really seen Beyonce since she helped Kamala win the election this year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she slayed that. She she ate. <laughs> 
with that. She, she ate, ate down. It. She ate it down boots. Yeah. <laughs> she ate down. Which I was, I knew it. I was like, when I saw Kelly and Beyonce and no Michelle, I was like, this is, they've jinxed the election. Kelly, Beyonce, and no Michelle. Oh, that's right. Michelle wasn't there. No, you need all three. You need all three. It's like um, the, the wrinkle, power of three, wrinkle, which is wrinkle in time. Which I is. think that's just your Anna Wintour penis. <laughs> 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 What if there were three penises? It'd be so fun. Uh, but um, so yes, she's released this video being like, oh, we're going to have this amazing halftime show on Netflix, which I guess Netflix is like really trying to stream live events. She's trying it. Did you see? I know you probably didn't. You didn't see the Jake Paul. What? No. Uh, I saw the Mike Tyson. I saw Mike Tyson's butt cheeks. I mean, he was just wearing a jock strap. Everyone was like, oh, I thought my it was God. so funny. I loved it. I think it was elder abuse. The whole thing was. Yeah. I even said this. Like, the fight was happening here. They had it streaming, like, in the kitchen and everything, and everyone was watching it. And I was like, oh, this is so lame. I love the women's yeah. fight way better because mm. they actually, like, did stuff. This was just, like, them, like, pussyfooting around and just being, like... Oh, and, like, gosh. Jake Paul was, like, bowing to him and, like, showing respect. First of all, Mike Tyson is 58 years old. Yeah. He lasted all eight rounds mm -hmm. and did it. He's I a like legend. I like Mike Tyson, yeah. And Jake Paul, I'm like... Literally made like seventy million dollars for that. Are you serious? He was wearing shorts that were worth a million dollars. What? I know. I hate it, and I refuse to live in a world where a Disney star who was like only on Disney beat up Mike Tyson. He was on Disney. Jake? Yes, he was. Yes, I didn't know that. What did he do on Disney? This that show? Yeah, oh. I don't know. This is all like, sh I me think this she is doth AI. protect protest too much. Like this is because you feel. Why would you do this? It just pisses me off because, like, like Mike Tyson is so great, and, like, he really did it. And he, he mentioned over the weekend that he was in a really dark place. He almost died. He had, like, health issues right before leading up to this fight. And so he was like, no, I'm glad I did it. But also, I'm like, Jake Paul, like, fight someone who's not 60 years old. Who's Jake Paul's viewing audience or followers? Like, who is it, guys? Just straight, yeah, that. Okay. Cause it's like, like the alphas, the fucking incel. I hunt yeah. elk meat. Really? They're like, coming home and they're like skinning like the, the deer Joe and they're like, I gotta, I gotta the, check in yeah. on Jake and see what he's up to. Yeah, fucking Jake, Jake Paul. Yeah. Oh my yeah. God. Yeah. 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 It's that. Just like alpha males with like slight mental illness. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thinking about an insurrection, but don't really do it. Uh huh. Maybe. We need some genetically modified babies to come in and clean house, actually. Now that's what I'm I want. Thinking about it. That's what I want. Yeah. Come that's in why and I'm set like pro genetically yeah. made babies. Mm -hmm. Lab maybe, grown eggs. Well, I wonder if they get like, you know, like the cabbage patch dolls, if they uh -huh. have the little thing on the bottom of the foot. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> They're I, like genetically modified. It's like a little like. Lab grown eggs. I prefer um, free range farm farm to table. Yeah, farm to table genetically engineered. Yeah, farm babies. raised. Yeah, F fresh caught. Fresh, <laughs> wild. Yeah, wild not farm. Yes, yeah, thank you. I don't. I want. I don't want like a halibut baby. No. Yeah, uh, I want like wild, wild salmon. salmon. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> if you're not a wild salmon baby, get out of no, here. Take your red snapper. Well. This is someone who is now married to a farm-raised halibut, uh, Lana Del Rey. <laughs> um, she has responded to... Did you see the TikTok video where it looked like Lana Del Rey and Lizzo were in like a feud? Yes, I heard about this. Which someone was, was fat-shaming someone? Yes, but I was kind of like here for it. I was like, damn, the girls... Who, who fat-shamed who? It was Lana Del Rey... Went after Lizzo. Why are you even asking that? Well, because I you don't know, know the answer to the no, question. No, I don't. I, I said like, Lana Del Rey and Lizzo, and you're like, who fat shamed who? <laughs> but what if Lizzo had been like, damn girl, like you're gaining on me? <laughs> but it was pretty impressive. Giving me a run for my money. Yeah, well, I mean, Lizzo did go as Ozempic for uh, oh, Halloween, right. which was kind of epic. Well, Lana fat shamed Lizzo. What'd she say? Well, it was like all fake. So everyone was like, oh what? my God, AI, I don't know what to believe anymore. I don't even know if this is a real podcast anymore at all. Um, so pretty much she just said, Thursday, last Thursday, uh, Lana Del Rey responded to an edited screenshot of a conversation between herself and Lizzo on Instagram. Her response came after the parody account Drop Pop took to X, 
Mm, toxic to share an edited comment from Lizzo's TikTok account about the summertime sadness singer being back on the charts. A fake account for Del Rey responded to the dig by commenting about Lizzo's appearance. When the screenshot of the fake conversation was posted on Instagram, Del Rey didn't hesitate to respond and clarify that she doesn't use TikTok herself. She says, I don't think I have an official TikTok other than the Grants one. Other than other than the Grants one, so... Okay. She also Lindsay Grant is her name. Oh, there it is. Grant. Okay. She also noted that she doesn't have a Twitter account and added that she was very confused by the edited TikTok comments. So do we actually have yeah. Um, many people came to Del Rey's defense expressing how strange it was to see this feud. It's so bizarre how people can make up fake stories about things people said when it's not true. Um, but um, do we have the actual like fake exchange? So it was a fake exchange between a fake Lizzo account and a fake Lana. Yes. That's what I thought. That's wow. What I thought was over here. Yes. Well, this was a different, this was another different view. Crazy. Well, what do we think she said? I don't think it was anything. <laughs> I think Lana Del Rey is just in the swamp with her yeah. gator lover. Yeah. And they're just like having a blast. Throwing a pork loin at an uh, alligator. I would love to do that. I would too. I have done that. I would love to throw a genetically modified engineered baby. In, no, I'm just kidding. I... Let me tell you something. When you see the alligators, you're like, ew, gross. It's um, not fun. Really fun show to watch right now, speaking of alligators, is it's Florida Man on oh, HBO is that Max. Good? So okay. much fun. It's like drunk history, but it's like Florida. I've heard it's like great. Juliette Lewis is in it. Oh, I can't wait. I love her. Um, oh, yeah. So she says, Lizzo says, I'd like to see you back on the charts. And Lana says, I would love to see you run a treadmill. Oh, my God. I mean, that's <laughs> And then so Lizzo mean. came back with, I hope that alligator eats your big ass. And she says, you know about eating Biggie. <laughs> Wait, so these are two fake accounts. Yeah. Or was one of them real? It was just a fake, like... I love that. I know. I was like, oh, my God. So people were like, Lizzo and Lana Del Rey are fighting. This is why that's you so don't funny. trust anything. Because I was like, oh, my God, we have to talk about this and land... Was like it's been debunked, I and I'm like perfect. That alligator eats your big ass. You oh. know about eating Biggie? Oh my god! I know. I was like, oh my god, Lizzo and Lana. Like it's totally fake, but it's still really funny. But these are some actual real Twitter beefs, and we have a couple of them here. We have Kendall Jenner versus Rihanna. So Kendall says, if Rihanna doesn't perform "Complicated Tomorrow," I'm gonna be very upset. Hashtag fave song. And Rihanna says, at Kendall Jenner, well, don't no, come. Don't come. <laughs> Read her. Drag her. Drag her. Oh, well, don't come. Don't come. This is between <laughs> Lady Gaga and Adam Levine. Adam Levine says, ugh, recycling old art for a younger generation doesn't make you an artist. It makes you an art teacher. And Lady Gaga says, uh-oh, guys, the art police is here. I love that. She's right. Shut up. Shut up, Adam Levine. And then we have Selena Gomez versus Justin Bieber. Um... Well, they had a real thing. Well, yeah, but I mean, the kids were taking it to Twitter. So Selena says, if you can't handle the hate, then stop posting pictures of your girlfriend, LOL. Ooh. It should be special between you two only. Don't be mad at your fans. They love you. They were there for you before anyone. And Justin Bieber says, it's funny to see people that used me for attention oh. and still try to point the finger this way. Sad, all love. And then he followed it with, I'm not one for anyone receiving hate. Hope you all can be kind to my friends and each other. And yes, I love my believers. Ooh, that was PR being like, yeah. oh, can you get that in there? Yeah. And then Selena says, funny how the ones that cheated multiple times are pointing the finger at the ones that were forgiving and supportive. No wonder fans are mad, sad, all love. Damn. This is, the y'all, the internet is poison. Yeah. Yeah. And it's not the place. Yeah. It's not it. I will say this. <laughs> the internet is poison. You know what I thought was a joke? Was um, Selena Gomez's <laughs> boyfriend... Who's her boyfriend? His name's Benny something. What are you talking about? He was named one of the sexiest men of the year. Benny Blanco. Yeah. I don't, I couldn't pick him out of a lineup. I don't, I couldn't either. And reveal him to me. I thought <laughs> it was a joke. Ay, 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 ay. Yeah. I thought this was like a Liz Olana thing. And I was like, oh, this man was like in the sexiest man epi uh, issue of People magazine. <laughs> and that's him. You know what? Good for. Everyone who is young and talented and cute and go for it, live your life. I'm going to see myself out. Yeah. Okay. Sure. No. Mm. No. I'm trying to be nice. I know. And I will not have it here. <laughs> you are enabling. I don't know. I mean, no. straight girls like weird things on guys. 
they always like they see something we don't. Yeah. Like that's not ever gonna that's not a okay. oh, God. I can't get it away from me. <laughs> I didn't see wow, that close up is something else. I'm sure it, he's really nice. Have you ever seen Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Have I? Yeah. It's all characters including Splinter. Rolled into one person. <laughs> AI. <laughs> Donatello, Raphael, Leonardo, Michelangelo, Michelangelo <laughs> AI, Splinter. That's what you get, Benny Blanco. It's all oh, of the Ninja Turtles. But he is. Bebop, Rock, Steady, Krang adjacent. Listen, if this person is really a great person, mm -hmm. I take everything back. And yeah. I love Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Here's the thing I'm happy Selena Gomez I don't want to happy. Fuck oh. <laughs> it's just, I, I just feel like, ugh, I don't know. I don't, I don't have talent. <laughs> I don't have talent. That's what he says. Well, no. let's make him one of the sexiest people alive. The sexiest people alive is, um, like, didn't we leave the 80s for a reason? Why are we Who still Who did they doing put on that? the cover, John? John Krasinski. I don't think so. I don't know. No. I, who would you have put on the cover? I'm good. Uh, Please don't say who I think you're going to say. Who? No, I'm not going to say. <laughs> I, the first person that came to my mind just because I just watched Trap is Josh Hartnett. <laughs> Josh Hartnett can still get it. I know he can. Chad Michael, Chad Michael Murray. He can still get it too. God damn it! He has a calendar, and I'm thinking about getting it. I want him to get it. Look. <laughs> oh, see, that's a okay. Colin Jost has a book that's titled "A Very Punchable Face." When I see this person, I also think he could have a book with that same title. This one, John Krasinski. It's a punchable face in a in a nice way. Nice guy. Yeah, but I don't want to. Roll over and see that in the morning. Really? What would you do? I don't know. He You'd seems, watch the shower? He seems like he's farting and you Dutch ovening you for a bit, you know. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> and like, you know, talking about listening to Jake Paul podcast and like working about his on his macros and like, okay, go fart somewhere Complaining else. about like how late his matcha yeah. latte was. Go hide under my house. Yeah. Yeah. Get out of here, Frogger. Mm -hmm. John Frogzinski. Um, well, this guy can oh. hide in your tanning bed. Oh, my God. Um, this Indianapolis man was found dead in a Planet Fitness tanning bed and had been there all weekend. That's... Did you hear the story? No. Uh... Oh, I love a good, like... Because no one's going into that tanning bed. That's why no... You always are like, why is that there who goes in it? Well, and it's also giving me, like, Final Destination 3. Well, I think it's 3, where the two girls go in the tanning bed. It's also giving Scream... Which one was with Brandy? When she goes in the tanning bed and he like puts zip ties on it. Anyway. Brandy was in I Know What She Did Last Or I summer. Still Know What You Did yeah, Last Yeah, the summer. sequel, yeah. There's a tanning bed moment in there. Yeah, yep, yep, with the hook hand, all that Tanning death. beds are a death trap. <sighs> Here's the thing. I would never. You've never been in a tanning bed? I have been in a tanning bed oh, and I, I would have. never go back. Oh, yeah. Well, I did I don't like, like the smell of my own skin burning. I like the smell of burning flesh. Yeah, okay. Well, um, especially if it's not a I... Goose Creek candle. Not a Goose Creek candle. I'll be honest. I... Okay. <laughs> they should make a Yankee candle. Just burning skin, tanning bed. Tanning Ugh. flesh. Ugh. I went to a place over here in WeHo. Uh, they have like a, on Sundays, like $19 tanning for like the $75 an hour or a 10 minute bed. Ooh. Um, and I went in and I just, I was, I, I this is a couple years ago, and I had a moment where I was standing there with, a tube sock over my little Anna Wintour winter penis. Mm -hmm. Little Bob sticking out, mm -hmm. smoking a cigarette. Mm -hmm. And I thought, this is dehumanizing. This is destabilizing and degrading. Just laying there in a tanning bed? I was standing. Oh, it was the standing it one? It was the standing one. I think this one might have been one too, but let's see. I'm going to read a little bit more. He was so, standing and died? Yeah, Indianapolis police are investigating the death of a man found dead in a tanning bed he is in... The worst. Uh, Marion County, huh? He has a terrible name. Derek Sink. Yeah. That's bad. Derek Sink. <laughs> Sank now. Sank in the tanning bed. <laughs> Sink went into a tanning bed on Friday. When he failed to come home, they reported him missing. His aunt said Sink was wearing an ankle monitor, Why? which led investigators to determine he never left the gym. He was ultimately located in the tanning bed at the gym in the 8,000 block oh. on Monday morning, relatives oh, said that he had struggled with drugs and that a needle was found in the room with him. Oh, well, this is sad now. Now, he was charged with possession of narcotic drug and possession of a controlled substance last year in a plea argument on the first charge. He was sentenced to one year of home detention, including oh. drug testing, which started back in May. And he just wanted to get tan. Like, he was having a rough time. And being tan makes everything a little bit better. Kind of. I would, yeah, I see that. So, coroner's office had not determined 
determine a cause of the death. Um, but the investigation continues. But Elizabeth Len was at the Planet Fitness before law enforcement discovered the man. She said, it hasn't being her, just Elizabeth Len. She said she and other members noticed a bad smell in the building yeah. near the tanning room. Worse than usual at Planet Yeah, Fitness. at Planet Fitness, yeah. The tanning bed has an odor, I believe, but still, why are we not concerned that the tanning bed has been closed for three days, potentially? Girl. Planet Fitness operator, uh, Officer McGall Goslin. <laughs> said in a statement, we were deeply saddened. That's a lesbian. Yeah, but for sure. Officer McCall Gosselin. Uh, yeah. Uh, saddened by the passing of one of our members and the franchise owner is working with local authorities at Planet Fitness. We have robust operational brand protocols. Clearly, you just have your tanning bed shut for three days as the safety and well-being of our members is our top priority. Oh, it's terrifying. Let me ask you this. So, just hypothetical. Mm. Say you were feeling very pasty, and you had an event coming up, and you couldn't get in to see a sp get to get a spray tan, and you needed to tan. Would you go in that bed knowing that someone had died there and stayed there for three days? Oh, like haunted tan bed? Would you go in? Yeah, I would too. <laughs> I think I might want to go to that exact tanning bed now. It's like well, after Whitney Houston died in the Beverly Hills Hotel, I want to stay there. Yeah, I want to go in that room. I want to get in the bathtub. Yes, just fill it to the top and sing some. Yeah. I hate you <laughs> on my heart. <laughs> Somebody, uh, <laughs> that's what I want to do. Wow. That's what I want to do. Yeah. I get it, though. But it also, I have, ever since Final Destination, Final Destination was a cultural change yes. in the way I see things. Right. Because death comes for us all. That's yes, what it, it does. It's, it's like in the tagline. This weekend, I was driving down the highway and one of those like, uh -huh. log trucks. Logs. And I immediately thought, it's going to slam on the brakes, log to the face, that's it. And make God laugh, Justin. Yeah. That's what it would say on the marquee. I think about it all the time. <laughs> those movies, the only thing bad about those movies is that um, it wasn't Lily Sobieski. Who was in the, what's her name? Um, that girl. She put, the, Her character's name is Clear Rivers. I always thought that was a little bit of a red flag. In Final Destination? Yeah. Allie Larder? Yeah, Allie Larder. <laughs> it's always Allie Larder. I saw Allie Larder at a blockbuster once. And I swear to God, she goes like this. She went up to the person. Instead of perusing the videos, mm -hmm. and I think she was just trying to be funny, but she was like, do you guys have anything good to watch? At Blockbuster? And they were, he was like, well, yeah, it's a Blockbuster. And she's like, well, like what? I can't find anything. And like threw a tantrum. And he was like, well, here, how about this? And she's like, fine. And like left. She was like having a tantrum. Wow. See? Iconic. Yeah. That's why we do not need genetically modified babies because I want that psychotic narcissist melting down in a blockbuster, R.E.P. Yeah. Um, here's what happened. I forgot to tell you this story. Oh, God. Speaking of Final Destination, I went to a Benihana. Oh, my God. I want to go to Benihana so bad. <laughs> Death right in front of you. The one in Encino, mm. which is like there's only one. You can also get tan. It's so fiery. Oh, very fiery. So... I get commercials. Evan was telling me this. I get commercials for Chili's. I get commercials for Sonic. I don't know where these places are. They don't exist oh, in LA. Burbank. You have to go to like Burbank. Yeah. You have to go to like Redondo Beach, Manhattan oh, Beach. I've looked somewhere. at the Sonics. I know. I, I know live where they are. I love Sonic. Yeah. Um, so our friends, Michael and Will, were like, we're going to Benihana. This is what we want to do. I fucking love it. You would have thought we were at JFK Airport. It was insane. I know. It was so packed. Everyone's just like huddled together. But it's the Black best. Friday realness. So good. I love Benihana. Here's, uh, okay. So we sit down. We waited for an hour. What's your favorite thing? It's all the same. <laughs> <laughs> the rice. Yeah, I like that. I like the fried rice. The it's fried good. Rice. But we sit down and we're sitting next to these um, lesbian cholas, which I'm already here for. Oh, that's... It was like flannel, sharpie eyebrow, oh. like full on... They were lesbians. I want to go there. She one. She was with her 19-year-old daughter and the 19-year-old daughter's boyfriend. So we're at like a safe a space. Family. I've got lesbian cholas at yes. my Benihana table. Will and Michael, me and Evan. That's so we dream. are like diverse. Dream. LGBTQ. Yes. Benihana. Yeah. And the guy comes out and he starts like flipping the things. Yeah. I was getting so defensive because like everyone was just kind of chatting, having their cocktails. Like, I know that one. Oh, yeah, uh-huh. You know, the, the lesbians are making out 
And I am just like, you guys, there is a performance happening. Performance. Like, you're talking during the show. This is his art. I am like, and he like is just doing his thing. And he's like, okay, his now we're going to do this. Uh, and I'm like, guys, <laughs> we have yeah. to pay attention. He's not your servant. He's your performer. So like, finally, we're like getting into it, whatever. And... Lesbian cholas start like kissing. They weren't like making out. They were just like it was her birthday, one of the uh, one of the other's birthdays. So they're like, oh yeah, this is my girlfriend, this is my daughter. What Canoodling. a special moment! And yeah, so they were just kind of like lovey dovey kissing on each other, but not like you know. So <laughs> across from us is Bummer. like a table of oh no, say it. You can say it. Glendale? Sure. Okay. And, but it was like, <laughs> but it was like, it could have been like Eastern European, something. Uh -huh. Just very like, uh -huh. like Fairfax uh -huh. adjacent. Uh -huh. I'm yeah. picking it up. Yes. They looked like the otter from Ice Age. Yeah. But like a family of them. Mm. Let's say the matriarch was wearing that oh. one Dior shirt, the black t-shirt that otter. says Dior. Like their their eyes were kind of like widespread. I have a clear picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All the guys, like the men, were all the same, and they were just like, "Yep, yep, that. yep." Rabies. The wife looks over at our table, uh -uh. and Lesbian Cholas were kissing, canoodling, 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 and she goes, "Can you guys stop, please? We are trying to eat." Oh. So I look at Evan and Michael and one. I'm like, "Oh my god." We are having an altercation at the Benihana. Uh, so, Lesbian Chola looks over and she's like, you need to mind your own fucking business. We are just trying to eat here. We are people too. Like, goes off. And good. I'm like, ah. Uh, good for In her. front of the children. Good. And like, they all just like finished their food and like got up and left. I would have, if I were that lesbian, I would have pulled down my girlfriend's pants and eaten her pussy. Wow. Right there. I would have been like, how's this, bitch? <laughs> yeah. Go back to the Ukraine. Or yeah, a little surf and turf. Yeah. <laughs> surf and fucking turf. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, you know what I loved? It was the daughter who stood up for her mom. That's right. It was kind of amazing. And the and the the two grown women were just kind of like, just yeah, whatever. whatever. And I was like, oh, you guys are like iconic. That's great. Then uh, one of our friends goes to the bathroom at Benihana. Oh no. And comes back and he goes, You guys, I just saw the weirdest thing I've ever experienced in my life. He says there was a bus boy who was washing his arms in the sink and he was looking at the in uh, <laughs> What are you about to say? Looking at himself in the mirror and he was like, This smell is so bad. Oh my it god. It never comes out. <laughs> oh my god. I am so disgusting. Why were his is I he, who am was he so fisting? Disgusting. I'm so gross. Who is he it's fisting so those nasty. arms? We were. always smell so bad here. We oh. smell bad here. And washing his arms in the sink. That's not like not scary farm, like a yeah. some corner of some haunted house. American Horror Story, Benny Hanna. It's true though. Like restaurants, oh, places. Oh, you stink when you leave. Even this place, no offense. Like you can tell it's a bar. This is a bar? <laughs> <laughs> because it's just like... When you walk in, you're like, oh yeah, this is a bar. Yeah. Well, well people spill things. It smells great, yeah. but like... It's it's a different. Well, listen, lime, <laughs> a limey beer alcohol smell is much better than like chicken carcasses and shrimp tails and soy sauce. Agreed, agreed, agreed. So that I didn't realize that because until we got into our Uber coming home, that I was like, oh, we oh, stink. This is I the sizzling fajitas issue. This the is, staff at Benihana. Oh yeah, I used to live next to a chef at Benihana. Oh god. Yeah, and he was always coughing. Wow, we need to have Benihana Appreciation Day. I. Love it so. It is much. fun. It was really fun. Um, couldn't tell you what I ate though. I was like, chicken, something. Yeah, it was like chicken, and I had scallops. You know what was really good though? The next day, the diarrhea. <laughs> really good. I lost like eight pounds. I don't love a scallop. I do. Mm. What? Because what is that animal? How does that animal walk through life? It's, it can't just be a gelatinous disc. It has to have legs. Are you talking about your winter penis again? Maybe. <laughs> Put a bob on that mollusk. Oh, I love a I love a good scallop wig. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh my god. I love a scalloped Merkin. Um, Merkin. <laughs> I love that. I love that. My pussy doesn't look nearly as presentable enough unless it has a teardrop or scalloped drapery Merkin. Like like Gail King. Uh -huh. Yeah. All right. We have time for one last story. Um, much like my Chola lesbian friends uh -huh. at um 
Benihana, <laughs> this woman details how she found love at a Home Depot and says it felt like a modern-day fairy tale. Ah, uh, Tori Amos wishes. Ah! Uh, Caitlin <laughs> Ansari shares with people how following a TikTok trend helped her meet her current boyfriend. Was it the tall skeleton? The Halloween? I really hope so. <laughs> I really hope it was. I found my new boyfriend. But here's the twist. I went from woman finds love at Home Depot, and I was like, oh, finally. And then it was like, she found her new boyfriend. I'm like, oh, that took a turn. Oh. I wasn't expecting a male. I was expecting like right. lesbians at Home Depot found love. So this woman said she had was on all the various dating apps. She's attempted to create a space for singles to meet each other. Most agree that the best place to meet a potential partner is still in person. Surprisingly, Home Depot may have the best success rate. Uh, this TikTok creator, Caitlin Ansari, posted a video as she was scouting out her local Home Depot, hoping to run into a man she could flirt with, and it worked. I truly didn't think it would work. I've been single for about two years and casually dated here and there, but legitimately never met uh, never, every man I met on Bumble or Hinge was a no-go. And then she tried to, uh, she tried dating apps multiple times. Um, she hated, she swore them off, began meeting potential partners on her own. Um, she tried Shields, which is a sporting goods store before Home Depot, and she felt she left empty-handed. I dated one guy I met online, came to find out he was also dating several other girls. It wrecked me. I'm such a relationship girly and was completely blindsided by his actions. So she decided she was going to go into this Home Depot, record herself, and meet somebody in person. Um, do we actually have a video of this? This is stalker vibes. Kind of. You know what I mean? Oh, like if, if, oh, it, oh go, wait a minute. Go back. So this is, this is the guy she finds. Oh, no. Then she takes a picture of him. Stalker. She says, wait, he's so cute. So she has time to edit this, post it. So, oh, oh, she says she put him in the drafts. Mm -hmm. She says, I had tucked these videos away in my drafts because I'm a pretty private person. It doesn't sound like you are. It doesn't sound like you are at all. I wanted to make sure he was the man he claimed to be before I publicly shared our story. But she and the man she met in Home Depot, whose name is Trice... Easter have been oh. together since their first date. That's the name of someone who's going to die in a tanning bed. Trice Easter. <laughs> yeah. Trice Easter. I actually told myself if he doesn't bring me flowers on the first date, he's not it. Bitch! I. She's so high maintenance. High maintenance! Like, okay, it's hard for anyone to find someone on apps and stuff. And like, you don't need to... If I go to Home Depot, I'm there for one reason and one reason only. To get jerked off in the bathroom. Oh. Okay? I don't need this other element in there. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't want to have to engage with someone who's like, Hey, do you want to go to a coffee for some time? Like, no. Where's my drill? Where's my dowel rod? Where's my tension rod? Where's, Where's my, my hand hole? job? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, can we go back down? I want to show, like, this is, okay, going right here. Yeah, He's yeah. also in a very uh, unflattering pair of shoes. Wait, wait, wait. And Sari says, sure enough, he showed up on their first date with a cowboy hat, nice jeans, a button-up, and flowers. It felt like a modern-day fairy tale. He's made me start believing in love and romance again. Is it campaign five? I... Is it campaign five? What is that? What's campaign five? Oh, campaign! I was... <laughs> It's so funny you said it because I was literally going to go, that's the guy that we always yes. talk about. <laughs> yeah, he, that is so him. Oh, uh, with a cowboy campaign. cowboy hat and just jeans, like get ready with me as I is go on my Home really Depot campaign? day. Is campaign? No, it's, it's Cameron Payne. Cameron I, Payne It is five. so funny. It's that the he, most cringe thing I've ever seen. Well, no, not ever seen. There's other things. There are other things. There are other things, but, but he's, he's definitely one of them. If, if you say get ready with me as I go to church, like just jump. <laughs> And if and if what you follow that with is what he follows it with is cra it's crazy. Yeah, my boots, my bobble. Yeah, the going fishing. I'm a man, bobble. Uh, and get my out of boots. here, girl. You're wearing and lip then boss. laughing. Yeah, yeah. And then the laughing at nothing. The laughing. I've I've lived a majority of my adult life sharing my journey through social media, but never to this capacity. I had my little community and that was it. My anxiety has been through the roof, if I'm being completely honest, because I never expected our story to go viral. So now everyone's like, you did expect it to go viral. Yes. You literally engineered you this whole entire a man thing. In Home Depot, and now you're it's dating him. It's fake too. Like she probably is like, hey, we can go viral if like I, you can allow me to say that you are doing everything perfectly. Do we see them at the, do we have them at the bottom? Like we don't see, oh yeah, we don't have them at all. No. As someone who has met their partner in real life, Where'd you meet? At High Tops. 
<laughs> okay. What's, why is that? Why is that funny? It's not. Okay. It's cute. Yeah, it's not Home Depot. It was high tops. Yeah. Yeah. Here, okay. Here, here's the video. Oh, here's the video. POV, you took the girlie's advice and went searching for a blue collar man at Home Depot because dating apps suck. Wait, he's so cute. Oh. Ew. Well, do I go talk to him? This is like desperate for engagement. Oh my God, I'm so nervous. <gasps> Don't sound dumb, don't sound dumb. Can we see him? I don't want to see the battery section. He is cute, I think. Is he? I mean, his backside's cute. His ankles are cute. His thumbs are cute. Oh my God, look, she's like... Trying to touch his hand. She's a predator. She is a predator. She's a predator. She's, a, she's the Home Depot. I want to catch this. Predator. The Home Depot harlot. The whore. The whore Depot. Oh, cock ring. Oh, he hands her a dildo. He is this what people do? He doesn't seem. That's like... thirteen dollars I spent. You don't even see his face. No. Wait. Let's. Let's. I want to see it. Do you see like a side? I think if you like that's pause. It. That's as much as you see. That's the most. Oh. Yeah. It was a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. I think he's cute. You do? But I think she's a predator and scary. She is. He just looks like a normal guy who catches yeah. fish with a spare he's hand. He's at Home Depot shopping like a normal person. Yeah. He's not there for ulterior motives. She should have gone with the guy with the neck tat. Yeah. That means... <clears throat> yeah, that's I'll him. do you, do you well. Think Oh, listen, I'm, if they're really in love, I'm happy for them. That's great. He does have a goatee, um, which is always, it could go either way. Mm -hmm. Cool or red he flag. He's like a nice gentleman. If Selena can have Benny, then she can have him. And he helped her. Yeah, he did help her. Yeah, he's cuter than Benny. Oh my God. Way cuter than Benny. Wow. Me. Yeah. All right. Sexiest well, man. Good luck to them. Uh huh. Good luck to them. And John, thank you once again for being here. Thank you so much for having me. It's always fun when you're here. I love you. Please, I love you too. Even you have a winter penis, even though I know um, she's small. Come see. Um, or well, yeah, we're gonna do a Christmas show. We're gonna do a Christmas show. You and I. We are doing a Christmas show for Sirius XM, but we don't know all the details. I think <laughs> yes. it's it's, it's going to air we're on the 24th. It December 13th, the 13th at the Sirius XM Studios in LA. Stay tuned for how you can come in person. Yes. It's going to be it's good. Free. Do you know There's who the no other tickets? person is besides you? Did she do? Who? I don't want to say yet. Who? Somebody good. Can you give me a hint? Mm. If you say Pussy Breeze and it's Gail King, it is. I'm going to lose. It's not even Gail, it's just her pussy. It's <laughs> Skyping in from New York, it's Gail King's vagina lips. <laughs> we had to pay them a lot, a, a total appearance fee. Those lips are not cheap. <laughs> I hate you so much. Um, but but love yeah, you. maybe you can come um, yes. see the show. But somebody, got, the, the, well, this is funny in light of what you just said, but the, the clue would be fur. <laughs> Fur? I'm not gonna tell you. Okay, you can tell me afterwards. Um, let our let our listeners guess. And come see my solo show at the Bourbon Room this Friday if you're not already coming to see Justin perform live. Stand. Oh, yes. And guys, make sure to check out John Hill if you haven't in a city near you when he comes to your town. Um, and as always, we will see you guys next time on the Just Saying Podcast. You guys have a fantastic week. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.